Hey guys, thank you for joining. Today I'm gonna teach you how the new car visual works in Power BI. I know everyone is talking about this new visual and of course we are not the exception. For today's tutorial, our goal is to build two groups of visuals. The one on the top, this visual has an image on the left side, as you can see, and then the one on the bottom, we have spark lines. Really, really powerful features within this new card visual and let me show you what i'm talking about here let's say that we want to select q1 2013 check this out now you can customize the message here since we don't have data i customize this message it says no data available and then the one at the bottom is just two hyphens so really powerful and then you can keep playing here you can keep playing there you have it so now no more talking and let's do this first things first because this visual is still in preview we have to activate this in power bi desktop so let's go over file let's go over options and settings options again so it's loading and then right here let's go over preview features so let's make sure the new car visual is checked so once it's checked hit ok and then you are good to go for this particular case, I already have this activated, so I don't have to do anything. So let's close this. You have to close your Power BI report in order to make this work. Here, I already created a couple of measures, as you can see. I have these measures here. This is the financials table. This is the sample data that we get in Power BI Desktop, so you don't have to do anything crazy here to get this data. So the next thing that we want to do here is insert this visual. So right-click, Add Visual, and then we have to select here the car new visual once we are there so let's keep adding data so let's go over measures here and for now let's select profit okay let's keep adding data here sales and then the next one is going to be cost of goods sold there you go we can customize this a little bit better like i said before let's select this option here more options and then let's go over shape here as you can see we have three different shapes and let's select rounded rectangle okay perfect so we can keep customizing this visual as well let's go over size and style we don't care about background here so we are good now let's go over cards and let's keep customizing this visual. So let's apply this first change to profit. And then let's go over image here. And then right here, let's select our first image. Profits, this one right here. And once we are there, image fit. And here we can also select the position, right? So let's say left. So let's customize the pixels here. So let's say 120 for now and let's see what happens. Sounds reasonable. How about 100 instead? A little bit better. And then we can keep doing this for the other two metrics. So it's working perfectly fine. It looks so much better. Let's go over call out and perhaps let's put 35, the font size. 
and then we can keep working over here as well. Display units, this should be millions. Decimals, just one decimal for now. And then this is what I'm talking about. Instead of showing me blank, so let's say, hey, show me no data available. So this is really powerful. So with this new feature, no more blank data, okay? So it looks fine for now. And then we can also make this center, the alignment. So much better. You can resize this as well. It's up to you. What do you think so far? Really, really powerful. You can tell the story better. You can enrich your Power BI reports with this new visual. So now let's go over the spark lines. Let's copy this visual again, control C, control V. And here we are. So now let's remove every single image. Let's go over card. So let's go one by one. And then over here, over image. Let's leave this one right here. And let's do the same for the other two as well. I wanted to do this all at once, but for some reason it didn't work. So I had to do this one by one. But anyways, here we are again. In order to create a spark line, I'm going to be using and modifying a piece of code shared by Kerry Colosco. So this is the source. You can also explore this. So this is what I'm talking about. Kerry has really good content as well. And she created these visuals right here. And we're going to be recreating this. So let's copy this piece of code real quick. Because this is going to give us the image, the spark lines. Okay. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop. And then the next step here is to create three different measures. So let's go over here. Right click, new measure. So the first measure that we want to create here is a measure related to profits. Control V. We're going to change the name of this measure. We're going to call this area sparkline profits. So once we are done here, we're going to make a couple of changes. Like I said before, she's using the financials table, the sample table that we usually have in Power BI Desktop. So we are good there. And here is the change. So we're going to be changing this measure. Okay. And here I'm going to show you a quick trick to select multiple words within the same piece of code, hold down control and press F2. Check this out. Now we are selecting some gross sales and we need to change this with just profits because that's the measure that we have, right? So we are good to go there. The other change that we want to make here is for the line color and we're going to be using colorhex.com here. Okay. So let's jump into the website real quick. Here we are and we are selecting the color, the black color as a reference here. And then right here, we have the shades. We're going to select this color for black. If we go over here, the line color is going to be this color. That's the hex code. That's what we need. And then the next step here is to go over the gradient. So let's go back to the website real quick. And then here, we're going to be selecting this one right here. Control C. Let's go back to Power BI Desktop. And here, we're going to be replacing this hex code with this one. Same here, same there. And then we are good to go, my friends. It's just a matter of approving these changes and let's see what happens. So we are good to go. Let's go back to the visual, select the visual again. Once we are here, let's go over here. And then let's go over cards. Let's select profit. Guys, this is really powerful. Please pay close attention to this. Let's go over here. Instead of image, let's select image URL. And then once we are here, conditional formatting. And then we need to select the measure that we just created, the area sparkline profits. 
Let's hit OK. And let's see what happens. Check this out. Automatically, you can see here the sparkline on the left side. And then you can, of course, you can customize this. I want this at the bottom. There you go. And perhaps here we can also customize the size. How about 200? So this looks so much better. There you go. We can also do the same for the other two metrics for sales and cost of goods sold. But before we do that, we have to modify our measure. So let's go over here again. And here, let's copy this piece of code, control C, right click, new measure. Once we are there, control V, let's change the name, profits with sales. Another change that we want to make here is to change profits. Remember the shortcut here, control F2, and then let's use sales. Sales right there. Here we are referencing the sales measure. So once we are done, let's hit approve the changes and we are good to go. So let's do the same for cost of goods sold as well. We're going to be copying the same measure here the same piece of code, control C, and then right click, new measure, control V, let's change the name here, replace sales with cost of goods sold, and then here we need to replace sales with control F2 with cost of goods sold, okay? Let's hit approve, and let's see what happens. As you can see, we just created our three new measures and now we are good to go. So let's select the car visual again. Once we are here, let's go over cells. Remember, this is part of cards. Scroll down a little bit. Image URL, this is fine. For this particular case, we're going to select cells. The new measure that we just created. Hit OK. And check this out and now this is just a matter of customizing this the bottom 200 pixels right there boom let's do the same for cost of goods sold cost of goods sold let's go over image again image url and here cost of goods sold this is one of the measures that we just created again. Hit OK. Bottom, 200 pixels. Boom. We are good to go. Another cool thing that you want to do here is to add an accent bar. So we're still here in cards. So let's apply these changes to all. And once we are here, scroll down. And there is an option here, accent bar. Let's turn this on. This is going to be on the left. And here, for width, how about 10? And let's see what happens. Boom. Another cool thing that we want to do here is to change the shape of this card visual. Let's go over here again, shape. And how about snip tap, both top? So we can do that here. Check this out. How about 10 here? That looks so much better and we are good to go. As you can see, really powerful visual in Power BI. If you haven't played with this visual, it's highly recommended. Now, before we end this tutorial, let's quickly explore the filters. Q1, aha, uh -huh. now you can see no data available because we customize the message, right? For Q2, 2013, we have nothing there as well, 2014, Q1, we see data, and now you can see these changes right here. We can also select Q3 and Q4 in 2014, and let's see what happens. Now you can see the trends, right? Let's go back to Q1 again, and here we can also customize this message if we want. Let's select this visual. Let's go over call out. And here, instead of no data available, how about two hyphens? Check this out. Automatically, you can see the changes here and you can add whatever you want. Really powerful feature 
in Power BI. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. As always, really powerful feature in Power BI. If you wanna keep sharpening your Power BI skills, really good content here as well, check them out. And of course, if you found this content helpful, share with your friends, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss anything. Thank you guys for your time and see you next time.